Screencast-O-Matic is a free and versatile tool to capture anything happening on your computer. The top way I see it used in education is for faculty and students to create instructional lectures or to do class presentation assignments using PowerPoint with voice and or video. So this is a quick tutorial on different setups and a few tips for making polished screen captures. Let's start with a pro tip. If you're recording your desktop or a web browser and you don't want the clutter of icons to show while recording, right click on the desktop, select view, then uncheck the show desktop icons. You can add them back once you're done and nobody's the wiser for how messy your desktop is. All right, back to PowerPoint. Open Screencast-O-Matic and click to record. Start by setting the size. And remember, a PowerPoint goes full screen when you start a slideshow. So set Screencast-O-Matic to full screen capture. Another pro tip. You should be creating PowerPoints in widescreen formats to fill modern screens, but you can capture your older square format presentations with the black borders. Next, faculty on campus do not have time limits for recording, but for students using the free account, you have up to 15 minutes of record time, which is more than enough. Now connect the webcam and or microphone and check your audio level. Last thing in settings, if your PowerPoint has audio, plays a video, or has sound, you need to make sure computer audio is set to record. Otherwise, just leave this off. Now open PowerPoint and let's look at the different ways to record. To record just your voice over a PowerPoint, you'll choose Screen Capture Only. Then select the microphone. Start your PowerPoint and wait for the countdown. Then start doing your voice over the slides. You advance and navigate the slides as you normally would using the arrow keys. You can always pause during recording and start where you left off if you need to. When complete, click the pause button in the corner and then click done. You can easily trim off any pauses at the beginning and at the end by moving the bars, then save as desired. If you want to include the video from a web camera, after the above initial setup, select both and a small preview window appears. Select the webcam and position the window where you want it to start during the recording. Now don't worry though, you can move this position during the recording to make sure it's out of the way of the slide information. Also, the three buttons you see at the bottom control how the webcam is presented during the recording. Let's do a quick sample. I'll start my PowerPoint slideshow and wait for the countdown. By default, the webcam is gonna start in the initial position I set, but while I record, I can move it around as needed. Using the buttons at the bottom, I can also make the webcam the main focus in the center, or I can hide the webcam completely. I'm gonna stop the recording and let's review that. You can see I started in the default position and then moved the webcam window around in different positions. I used the webcam control buttons to make it centered and dim the slide behind, and then I completely hid the webcam. Pretty cool, right? In how you use all this, it's your choice, but I recommend doing a few practice runs so you know where and how the webcam is positioned during the presentation. And remember, you can record for each slide and then pause in between if you need, but you wanna make sure that things don't start feeling choppy, so practice, practice, practice to make sure that it does flow. And that's using Screencast-O-Matic to record PowerPoints in a nutshell. Have fun exploring your newfound presentation skill.